and here one more time we can see all the scars remember these were bloody gaping wounds at one point and like a horse like keeper um you know when all these years of working behind a plow you know pulling a plow being used for work eventually gets sent to slaughter or to the auction where the meat men are selling the meat and this is for human consumption uh, it's not just for dog food and it would be shipped overseas and uh, luckily that didn't happen to you did it and you know it just it just breaks your heart so uh Anyway, leave your comments, and you're a good, good guy, okay, Keeper? Thanks for watching this one. So here we are in Gentle Giant Draft Horse Rescue in Mount Airy, Maryland. So Gentle Giants was formed in 2005 and our mission is to rescue draft horses from slaughter. They're a relatively uncommon breed, but we're seeing them grossly overrepresented in the horses that are exported for slaughter. And keep in mind, this is slaughter for human consumption. This isn't slaughter for dog food or byproducts or to feed animals at zoos. This is for people overseas to eat. Right now, we have about 141 horses here at the rescue with us. We rescue hundreds of horses every single year, and we've placed over a thousand horses in adoptive homes. Here we have Keeper. Keeper is a Belgian, uh, came to General Giants Draft Horse Rescue. You could tell he's a plow horse. Look at all the scars on his chest and his back and his shoulders from the yoke, the harnesses. And uh, he's uh, very underweight still, even though he's gained a lot of weight since he's been here for about six or seven, eight months now. And everybody not only loves him, you know, they, they call him Keeper because he keeps an eye on everybody, but he's also a keeper where they love him and they want to keep him. Uh, and uh, he's just a nice guy. You can see his spine. He's still very underweight. You could see some flaccidity on his skin under his chest. I'll touch that for a second. Here, let me in now. And um, I'm going to pass in front of you. And you could see just this loose hanging skin here, you know, and all these wounds. These are wounds. And it's good for people to see this because, you know, a lot of people have their horses that their family got and take such sweet care of throughout their lives and they never really had anything to worry about. And these horses have had a lot of hard work, some definite pain, and they have to keep going no matter what. And eventually one day they're not useful anymore and they're sent to auction. Possibly the meat men will buy them and they'll get slaughtered. So this is a great rescue for, the, for General Giant Draft Horse Rescue. They're bringing him back to health. He had some time in quarantine when he first arrived. And that's not a COVID quarantine. Horses, when they arrive here, need to make sure they're not bringing in parasites and infection and spreading it to, the, to all the other horses. There's over 140 horses here on average at any given time. And so they spend a few weeks. How many weeks would it be in quarantine? Uh, 21 days. 21 days, yeah. So they're not like, that's not that COVID quarantine. Uh, it's just normal good common sense quarantine to make sure they're okay before they're allowed to be with other horses and come around you can see here's another one here and um, and then you can really see if you shoot up top you'll see how much we can see the spinuses sticking through um, in here it's all scooped out there's no muscle up here so that's all atrophied I'm gonna come around the back now um, and let's see, yeah, so here's a, what the heck is that one? That's a big wound here. That's a scar. And you know, this, is, this has been a tough life. 
um, you know, a lot of atrophy in the muscles. So these, these glutes are all weak. Um, hamstrings. Um, there's, this is very narrowed or, or tucked under. So the, the legs are underneath him. Uh, and, uh, Yeah, so this is, I'm just getting, getting, and just the, here, let's, let's walk him away from the fence a little bit, and, and you'll see, has a tough, has a tough time squaring up, here, stay on there, um, all right, but you're a really nice guy. A little knobby there, because you can see it's a lot of the skull. Again, underweight, but but it's amazing. How much weight do you think he's gained? It's a couple of hundred pounds already, right? Yeah. So it's not like they're not trying. He gained two to three hundred pounds in the last seven months. Can you imagine? And uh, so they do such amazing work here. It's, this is my second time coming back to this farm, and I'm so impressed. And the team of volunteers here, the team of full-time workers, their medical staff, right over in the other barn is a veterinarian uh, looking, a vet looking at some of the horses over there. So there's a whole village here working on all these horses. It's just unbelievable and lovely to see the work done. And I'm, I'm blessed to just get to come here today. Um, and I'm volunteering. People ask me, you know, what do I charge? I'm here to help these rescue horses and do a little bit, a little bit that I can. So I'm gonna come through. Here's two fingers space on the wing, between the wing of the atlas. Here's the wing of the atlas, this edge. And here's the angle of the jaw. And we're gonna come to this side. And I actually can get two fingers on both sides. So that's good. So it's equal. So I'm not gonna adjust that. Now I'm going to reach up to the pole. And this is a big horse, you know. It would be great to see what you look like when you get a little more weight on you. And keepers let me work a little bit here. Now it says Owen here. So this is not... It's hair halter sometimes. Yeah. Now have you worked with a keeper before? No. So I'm on the pole here and it's tighter on the left. So I'm feeling a left superior, very tight here. So I'm just going to work this a little bit. I'm putting finger pressure on the pole, waiting for it to release a little bit, guiding it, putting a little pressure. Give me a little slack so it doesn't catch my arm. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're on a big hill. Sometimes we work where we can work. There's a lot of activity at another barn and here we have some privacy. Now, who's uh, Keeper's best friend? Is it Dapper? Dapper. And Dapper's not here right now. Is Dapper with the vet? Yes. Yeah. So again, I'm up here on the pole, giving uh, Keeper a chance to relax into this. I'm pulling down on the posteriority of the pole. And I do want to adjust that because it's tender. So I'm up here and the left side, and you can feel these muscles right here. The left side is very tender. So I'm going to come up and pull that down. It's very easy to find anything on this horse as far as skeleton because it's not covered with a lot of muscle, that's for sure. So here I am going to do a pole adjustment. Got it. And let's see what Keeper thinks of that. I'll give Keeper a second to integrate that. I'm going to watch his face a little bit. I'm going to come down here. 
So we didn't get see any licking and chewing, but let's keep working. Can I keep working on you? So I'm coming down the cervicals, and here's a nasty spot. And it's so tight, it's like a, like a rigid fist right here. And I'm watching Keeper's eyes, blinking when I touch deeper, right there. It's stressful right here because it hurts. Come this way, babe. All right. Takes time. Can you imagine, like, can you imagine, so these bleed, right? And they're open gaping wounds. And then you just keep strapping on that harness again. And like, give me a day's work. Give me a day's work. Give me a day's work. And then we just put the harnesses on again and not really let the wounds heal. And eventually they, they scar over and you make a new one. And that is not a pleasant life, let me tell you. That is not a good way to live. So now I'm gonna give this a little adjustment, okay? A little gentle adjustment. A little gentle giant's adjustment. Here we go, a little more. A little more. <clears throat> Got it. All right, that's the one I wanted to get. So I got that one. I can feel a move under my hand. And let Keeper feel that one through. So this bone, like, did you ever see that game, um, what's it called, like Jumanji or something with the blocks? So the, the wooden block is sticking out on the left, so I pushed it back into the middle. All right. We might not get much licking and chewing. You know, Keeper, uh, is not extremely relaxed. Would you be relaxed if your body felt like this? I mean, he's gentle and laying, allowing me to do some work. And again, see this scooped out here? I don't know if you can see this. It's all scooped out. There should, be, there should be the big band of muscles coming down the spine here. There's nothing. It's all emaciated. All right. So let me touch some of these reflexes. Checking the spinuses. Under the glute here. So there's a good reflex here. I'm gonna lift the tail up. Maybe not, I can get right here anyway. Right there. And this will help relax the whole hip. I'm swaying the hip at the same time. And I'm looking up to see what Keeper's doing. And let me switch sides now. Now I'm on this glute. I'm right in here, up high. And I want this front leg, this back right to step forward. And if I hold it, and Keeper's leaning back into my thumb, and as soon as that back right steps forward, we're done. There it goes. All right. And come up here, let's look at his face. Okay, was that okay? All right, that relaxed. The hamstrings are tight. You know what's even tighter is the quads. So the hamstrings are a little tight, but the quads and, and uh, keep her so tucked under. So watch, a horse should comfortably, look at my butt, should be like, huh. and keepers like this, tucked under. And the quads go so tight, they're in a state of contraction. Um, and the feet are under. 
and these quads are so strong, uh, so tight. Coming over to this side. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm over here. Sorry about that. Now let's come under here. We're going to get onto these, some of these. There's a lot of tension under here in the belly. Let's maybe walk around again. And, and so instead of him, instead of Keeper being on a hill, we're going to move him sideways on the hill. So let's walk, Bonnie, take Keeper this way. And I want to work a little bit under the belly. The rectus abdominis comes in here. Inside the pelvis, we have the iliopsoas, the iliacus, and this is all just pulling so tight. There's so much tension here. So I'm coming under here, and this feels like steel belted radial tires under here. Not in a good way. Like I wish my abs were steel belted radial tires, but no, I've never had good abs like that. But this is tight in a unhappy way. So I'm going to come down here, find this couple of reflex points. And here's one to begin with. And at the same time, I'm going to get on a abdominal reflex and get on it and give keep her a chance to relax against me and into it. It's nice that the head comes down when we see that. It's a little bit more relaxing. Now that was just a bug thing. But he is licking a little bit for the first time. Do you see that, Bonnie? It's the first time we're getting a lick. Now, if I hold this, I can get this whole belly to relax, even in front of the camera right now. And I'm going to hold. I'm pushing into this reflex to get this. There, it's twitching now. Watch this under my hand. Keeper's trying to let this go. Come on, Keeper. You can do it. You can do it. Let's let this go. My hands are really deep in there now. The leg comes up. We're getting some good activity. How's he look up there, Bonnie? His lip's going a little bit. Okay, good. Legs are moving. And a little longer. Almost have it. There you go. What do you think of that, Keeper? Okay. Now watch. This is softening. So coming close. This felt like a steel belted radial tire. And now it's softening. And we want it to soften a little bit. We don't need it so rigid like this. Yeah, it's softening up. Now I'm going to do a little spread here. And this will also help with... Uh, Keep her being able to get a big breath and stretching the hip away. There we go. And the weight's coming off the back left leg. And that's a lot because I'm pushing uphill, by the way. And I'm stretching. There's the leg coming up. There we go. And I got that to move. We're starting to see this not so drawn up. Okay, getting some, some uh, correct muscle tone here. Let's go to the other side. This side has a little bit, but it's, you know, they, they relax bilaterally. So you get started and they, one side goes. So I'm coming in here. Bonnie, you can feel this. I want you to put your fingertips here. So put your fingertips right in here. Do you feel how tight that is? Mm -hmm. And then follow it up to here. Here, so follow my hand. It comes all the way up into here. That's, this is too tight. Now watch, I'm going to be on this point and I'm watching the back right leg and I'm going to try to get that leg to come up. There you go. Let's do it two more times. And go ahead, move. There you go. And let's do it one more time. And he's crossing over really nice. And here's the last one. There it goes. Okay. Good. Now feel it. A little softer, right? A little bit softer. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna finish there, Keeper, okay? Okay, everybody loves you. Everybody send Keeper some love in the comments, okay? Thank you. No one gets it to me. Yeah. Putting finger pressure on the pole, waiting for it to release a little bit, guiding it, putting a little pressure. Give me a little slack so it doesn't catch my arm, okay? Thank you. <laughs>